everyone, it's Michaela, and you're watching Fun Size Style. This video is probably one of the most other than my Halo Attraction surgery where I literally bring you guys to surgery with me. This video is the second most vulnerable video I've ever posted online, and to be honest, I debated keeping this, the video footage that you're about to see private, meaning like offline, not sharing it with anybody. When I decided to get the Medel Bone Bridge hearing aid, I promised you guys that I'd share every bit of the journey, and I really thought that all of it was going to be good. I had a lot of hope that a lot of it would be good or all of it would be good, and it hasn't turned out that way. Um, I'm in the process of considering, basically, very much so considering removal of my, of the implant piece, and please go watch the previous update about this. Um, that obviously gives the full story, but today's video, this video is going to be, I filmed my appointment, I went to my audiologist to try two more, two non-surgical hearing options. These are the last two devices that I haven't tried. These are the last two non-surgical devices for the type of hearing loss that I have that exist on the market currently. Please don't comment, did you try XYZ? Because the answer is yes, I've tried that device. I've literally tried every single device that is available and approved by the FDA on the market currently available. I have officially tried everything. I'm going to give a little a spoiler alert as you can tell by the title. I filmed this appointment to begin with even though I knew going into this appointment and my surgeon told me this that obviously these devices are not as good as what I have currently in terms of sound quality comfort, everything like this device that I have currently right now. It's truly the most premium device you can have, at least that's currently available on the market. Who knows in 10 years what will be developed, but that's currently available right now. I knew that going into this, but at this point my situation is such that I have such limited options with my circumstances that I would rather have a device that doesn't sound as good than nothing at all especially given my level of loss is so severe. I went into this knowing that I was going to come out with something not as good. I wasn't going to be getting a device this day. A lot of tears because once I tried the very last device and knew instantly that this was not a good fit for me and not something that I would be motivated to wear and that would be realistic to ask of me to use every day, to ask of myself to use every day. And there were tears because once I tried that last option, I knew this was it. But as it stands, I have no more hearing options. This appointment exhausted all of those and it shows the reality and the heartbreak of that. I tried the Medel Ad Hero device. Medel is the company that my current device is made by and the device, again, as you know from the previous video and all these updates, the problems that I'm having is with me, with my OI-ness. Oh, I don't, we don't know, but the device is perfect. It's intact, it's held in place. I'll go into that video and share my theory on what's happening. Who knows if it's right or not, I don't know. But it had nothing to do with this device and I still, even though this device isn't working for me, I still recommend this device to literally everyone because A, they've not ever seen the situation, always charting new waters and be like obviously like I said the issues that I'm having are not with are not caused by I should say caused by the device. Metal ad here is obviously again made by uh, Metal with the current device I have now and then I also tried another device by the brand Cochlear, Cochlear America I think it is. It's called the Bone Anchor Hearing Aid Sound Arc. I was actually almost willing to take this device home and trial it but I'm so glad I tried it on before I left because it was so frustrating like as soon as you get the right side on you hit the left side slips up it's a terrible it does not fit well I'm so glad that I tried it on before I left and seen if I could put it on 
myself and if it was something that I was willing to do. And the sound quality on the cochlear sound arc was awful. I basically saw no or heard no benefit. The fit was really bad. Honestly, I don't know why anyone would have one of these. Um, even like my audiologist said, I don't really have any or a lot of patience with this device. But yeah, the sound quality is just really not good, especially given the level of loss that I have. I just couldn't get enough support to really benefit from the device. And then obviously the, the physical fit was just not, it was awful. So, and the reason that I filmed this and didn't expect it to be so emotional was because like I said, I knew that I what I have is premium and what I would be getting isn't as good as what I have now. But I thought it would be a somewhat of a good day in this ter what has turned into a terrible journey. I thought it would be somewhat of a good day knowing I would at least have something, even if it wasn't great. But these two options were just not... It's not fair to myself. I have to have something that I absolutely hate and know that I would not be motivated to wear it every day. If this is something that I'm going to wear for the rest of my life, I want it to be something that I want to wear that's comfortable, that benefits me, that's loud enough. And these two devices didn't fit any of that criteria. And so it just wouldn't make sense for me to have one of these. Like the sound arc in specific, like slipping, and it, every time I move my head, like once I have it in place, it moves. And it but just, I thought I would go away with something, some solution, but it ended up to be a lot worse than I thought it would be and a lot more heartbreaking. That moment that I tried the very last device and realized that this was it. I no longer have a hearing solution that works for me. There is nothing that is approved by the FDA currently. Um, I don't know what's in the works or whatever, but nothing that's approved by the FDA currently that is efficient option for me. And that is just really heartbreaking. Anything that's in the works currently takes years on the FDA because of red tape and the horrible way that our system is set up and in the meantime I'm left with nothing. And as of now I currently have no hearing device that works for me. This was it. This appointment was it and it solidified that for us. I mean at least I tried, you know, I would have never known if I didn't try but I wanted to share because it's a part of my journey and um, it's hard to share but I don't know, I just feel called to share it for some reason, I don't know. But without further ado, we'll go ahead and get into the video. That's so funny. Okay. Um, so what it does is the bone conduction device pops on to here. Dr. Duke isn't saying anything about this. Yeah. That's interesting. And then it sits like this. It looks like I'm gonna be on a radio talk show. <laughs> it kinda does. Or something. So it kinda looks like you're wearing glasses, but on the back of your head. You okay. Know? <laughs> so it would fit like this. You know? Gotcha, like yeah. That. So why are the, so what is the two sides? So I would only have the one, right? Right. So yeah. it's all, the device is only on one side, but the purpose of this is to give some pressure that it can then send the vibrations to your inner ear, gotcha. essentially. So the soft band, as you you don't like it because of you know you have to wear the whole headband and whatever. But the the benefits of that is that it's surrounding your whole head and keeping it tight, so then it can send the signal a little bit better than this. This is kind of like a half clench around your head, you know. Gotcha. Like that. And then with the sticker, there's like, there's no pressure. So that's why it, it may not sound as clear to you. Okay. Now as far as sound, do you think, yeah. which one out of the two do you think has better sound? That's a good question. Or so do I really know? We have um, better options in programming with this, but you might have a little bit more feedback with oh. this so um, we okay. can try and do some programming today see what you think if you, if you like the way it feels and the way it sounds um, we'll try to add here first okay. back on. here's your little magnet oh thank you yeah the one was too strong and it was not strong enough uh -huh. anyway so like i'll just give it back to her okay thank you <laughs> um so with the ad here this is what it looks like it takes a size 13 battery and you close it it turns on what the back looks like. To put it on, you want it to stick onto this sticker that will then stick onto your head. Gotcha. So it looks something like this. So when it goes on, this is normal to make that squealing. Um, but 
um, when it rocks, it, the, when you put it on, you want it to look kind of rock, rock on. Um, and then the sticker should last a few days. So we, if you were to get the ad here, it would come with a bunch of stickers. So then once one you know, falls off, you then can put another one on. Gotcha. So do I, because I heard like the stickers are pretty expensive. So if my insurance yeah. covers the device, do they cover the stickers? So that would be a question for Medel. Okay. Yeah. So um, typically what you would do is you would, if this is something you want to get, you would purchase it. I'd talk to Leah. You'd purchase it through Medel. And then they can they work with your insurance, so they can cover it under like a soft band device because it technically comes with a soft band. But you're not wearing it like a soft band; you're wearing it like a sticker. Gotcha. Yeah. This is this is a um, device that you can put a sticker on. So you put this on, you stick it off, and then you stick it on like that. Oh wow! It stays. Okay. Yeah. My only yeah. thing is, I'm just wondering, like, I hope I can like. That's another thing I'm thinking of too. Um, yeah, is you have to reach, like you would put it like. Oh like yeah, there. okay, yeah. Because that was it's stuck in here, so that was a bad example. But <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. It was stick like right there. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, and then once you stick the sticker on, then you have to pop the processor on. Gotcha. So it's a few steps. Can you grab a few more stickers? It's just so bummy. It's a what? It's so bummy. It is. Um, oh, I'm so bummed for you too. Because it, it's not that the, the the processor doesn't sound. You know, it sounds I good, know. but it's yeah. just causing you pain, which is such a bummer. Yeah. And this is a beige color. It comes in multiple colors. Okay. So I'm going to stick this behind your ear. So is this for people who don't have like a severe loss? Like more mild or what? Um, but, like she said the sound isn't as good. No, it's not because of you, your hearing loss. It's just the, the way the device is designed. Oh, okay. So it's nothing like because oh, of your hearing loss particularly. It's just kind of everyone perceives it this way. Gotcha. Hmm. Is it gonna make a noise or something? Yeah. Oh, okay. It just popped off. Oh, I hear it. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. My thought is that. Oh yeah, it's not. It's coming off. So you do have um, ear too. I think it's just like naturally who you are. So yeah. I think that that is gonna probably gonna affect the way it sticks too. Yeah. So let's try the sound arc. Yeah. I think that realistically, this is, is already losing its stick, but I don't know if it'll be useful. Another thing is, oh, no. okay. I know, is your um, hair. Like you don't have a lot of space um, to stick the sticker. And then so um, it's just, it just depends on people's you know anatomy and things like that. So if I stuck it on your hair, that would fall off. But then if I stick it too far down here, it's kind of hitting your shoulder and then yeah. that's causing feedback and then it'll fall yeah. off. So, bummer. Uh. But let me program the, where did I put it? Oh, it's over here. The um, sound arc and see what we think about that. Gotcha. Now who makes that? Like is it just a? Uh, Cochlear Americas makes it. Gotcha. So it's a different company. Gotcha. This we shall throw out. Whoops. 
Do a lot of people have the sound arc or whatever it's called? Not too many people. No. Okay. Um, the reason being, um, so a lot of times people get surgical devices um, when they're adults, and then when they're younger, these aren't like FDA approved for younger kids. So we the surgical ones. Uh, yeah, the surgical oh, ones. Okay. Yeah. So they can use. So they like to have different options for non-surgical options. So they can choose the headbands, but sometimes like kids who are maybe in, going into middle school or they don't want to wear a headband. So this is like they try to create like a a cooler option. Yeah, like a middle one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it doesn't wrap around the whole head, just like half the head. Gotcha. That's my my thought on it. Yeah. But it's always nice to have different options. Yeah. Not a lot, there's a lot of like road shut down here. Yeah. A lot of construction and whatnot. And with this, you can like put your hair over it if you want. So. so like where does the main, oh here's the main. It's right there, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And this there. Okay, so I'm gonna run a quick test. So you're gonna hear some sounds. You just have to be quiet for it. Oh, jeez. Sorry. That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why is it not I right? can't hear that. Does that mean something bad? No. Oh, okay. I, just, I need to redo the feedback. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're good. Play some beeps. Every time you hear a beep, just say yes. Okay. Yes. Good. Yes. 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 Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> You're going to hear another sound again, so you don't have to re respond to this. Okay.
Am I okay? Yeah, you're fine. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you yeah, know, you're fine. So, um, that squealing, what that is, is uh, feedback. So when sound is close, like, to the microphone, it's kind of like putting like, a microphone to a speaker. It has, like, that whist, like, squealing. Oh, yeah. Um, so the reason that it's feeding back is, could be two things. One is that it doesn't have a great, like, flat fit on your head. That So I was just, that's why I was moving it around. This, making sure that it's, like, as close to your head as possible so then sound doesn't is it programmed right now? Yeah. Do you notice the difference? it sounds awful. It sounds awful. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, that's yeah. the best way I can describe it. Yeah. Like, it sounds really bad. Okay. Let me try some other things. Another thing that could cause the feedback is um, just that it's so close to your shoulder that it's um, it's kind of like pushing up against it and then creating that feedback again. So I'm just going to move this remeasure, do the hearing test again, and okay. then see if we can figure, make it sound a little better. Gotcha. So say yes when you hear the beeps. Okay. Yes. Good. Yes. Yes. And then you're going to hear some sounds again. You don't have to respond. There you go. This is a lot better. Okay, now it's on. How does this sound? The quality of the sound is like really bad. How so? Does it sound tinny? Does it sound hollow? Yeah, it sounds, sounds like tinny. Okay. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, like. I know. Some of those words are kind of weird <laughs> yeah. to think of. Like it sounds like we're underwater or something. Mm, okay. It's not as bad as it was a minute ago. Yeah, it, but looks, it looks better than. Like, the, I don't know, it's just really. It sounds like I'm constantly talking into a microphone. Okay. I don't know why. I can't do that. I don't know. You can make a star that one. What? You can meet on a star. <laughs> no. <laughs> How does this sound? Sound better or worse or the same? That's a little better. Yeah. Okay. It still sounds like a little bit echoey. Okay. Like my own voice sounds like echoey. Yeah, okay. But your voice sounds okay. Let's see. <gasps> It, it sounds good. Good? Okay. How does your voice sound? It sounds pretty good. Okay. I I don't feel like an immense like boost of You don't notice no. a big difference? Okay. Yeah. What do you think about the headband? What are your thoughts on that? Unless on the, the sound art is what it's called. Oh, you mean like the design? Yeah, the design. Thing? Yeah. Um, it's okay. Yeah. yeah. Would you wear it or? I mean, possibly. Uh-huh. It's just like... I feel like in a loud environment, I would still have a hard time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because with this, you, is there like, probably nothing, like, that I would need to, like, control the volume with, right? There is an app you can download on your phone that can connect to your iPhone that you can, like, change some of the settings. Um, but it doesn't, like, like, go louder or anything. It can. Um, do you feel like it sounds soft right now? Uh, it's just hard to describe because you guys can't hear what I hear. I know, it's or, or so like, hard, yeah. But, um, I just feel like if I'm somewhere really loud, mm -hmm. like, it's, like, I'm still gonna struggle. Okay. Yeah. Like, right now, it feels okay. Alright, I just made a change. Do you think it sounds the same, or, or better, or worse? 
a little bit louder, yeah. Sounds louder? Yeah. In a good way or a bad way? Yeah, no, it's a good, good way. Okay. Let's see. <coughs> It's hard because it's probably so different for everybody. Yeah, that's yeah. okay though. How, I made a small adjustment. How does it sound here? It sounds good. My voice sounds a little bit echoey now. Okay. Yeah. So, like your voice sounds normal. Okay. Okay, I just made another adjustment. So okay. Does it sound better, worse, or the same? Um, about the same. Okay. Yeah. Would it be beneficial for you to try this at home? Because this, I think we could we could be fine loading this out for a few weeks if you want to try it. Yeah, I'll give it a try. Yeah, if you yeah. want to. You don't have to yeah. if you want to. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to save what we did. I'll show you. Of it. So that's where it's supposed to sign. <laughs> okay. I was just bummy because it obviously doesn't sound good. My bone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. The surgical devices always sound better. Yeah. Um these use three twelves. Would you mind getting up a couple packs of three twelves? Actually let me double check, make sure they are three twelves. Yeah, they're three twelves. Okay. Um so to wear it. So this device, it comes off, it pops off, but this, it pops on like that. Your battery is right here. Okay. So it's a size 312 battery. It could last maybe about five days. Yeah, but yeah. my original hearing aid had that, I think. Okay. And they lasted quite a while. Okay. So it depends. Yeah. So this might, you'll have to tell me how long it lasts. Gotcha. So manufacturer may say one thing, but you might say another. Gotcha. Um, to turn it off, you just open the battery door and then to, to turn it turn off, open the battery door to turn it on, you close the battery door. And then, does it beep when the batteries are dying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it'll indicate. So then when you put it on, you'll put it on like so. Yeah, I was going to say, can I try putting it Yeah, on? go ahead. And then you want this piece to sit as close to your skin as possible. Gotcha. There you go. <laughs> it kind of squeals at you until it's in the right place. <laughs> so the, the goal is to have it kind of sort of around sort of where the the bone bridge was. It's kind of but more kind of like around the back of your just around the mastoid bone right here. This is just not. Yeah. I'm sorry. This is no, just not real. No, don't be sorry. Right? Yeah. No, and and that's the that's the whole point. I don't want you to. Yeah. Feel like, you know. <coughs> you have to struggle with it. So. I'm sorry. Don't. It's okay. I know. I'm so sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm just really frustrated. I know. <laughs> sad. I know. You're you're allowed to be sad for sure. It's hard because you, you've been through so much, you know. I feel like there's no good options for me. It's not your fault or anything. It is, you know? Yeah. <sighs> I 
think that you know if you if you want you can you can you can take it home if you want or you don't have to don't feel like you have to either whatever you whatever you want um i don't think that the ad here would be a good option to be honest i think yeah, that I the sticker either. is not gonna work yeah um um Probably not. I just want to be motivated okay. to wear it. Yeah, that's. I, that's really true. Yeah, and, and I love that you're being honest. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, I want it to be something that I want to wear. Right, exactly. And remind, this is, you've tried hearing it in the past and did not work. Yeah. Right, okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. So, in terms of non surgical options, it's the soft band, the, the sound arc. And the ad here are really the the biggest options. Yeah. And I think while you know, unfortunately, you aren't going to be able to use the bone bridge. I'd rather you not be in pain. Yeah, me too. Yeah. 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 But if you ever change your mind and you say, "Hey, I want to try the sound art again," or "I want to try a soft band," or "I want to try the ad here," or whatever, you're always welcome to come back. And yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's not your fault. Yeah. It's a bummy situation. It is. Yeah. What would cause the pain for the other device? I think it's her osteopenia. The, um, some of what, you know, you've been struggling with the pain in the other, you know, in your, in your back and those kinds of things too. I think it's just your bones that's causing the pain. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Stukin has talked to you about this, correct? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm so sorry. Okay. Yeah. You're allowed to be frustrated. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you. Yeah, of course. Letting me try these, so. Yeah. We tried. Yeah. <laughs> I'll send a message to Dr. Stukin and let her know. And then she'll keep, she'll, she'll, um, get back in touch with you. Yeah, she set up appointment for Monday. Oh, perfect. So, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm so sorry yeah. that you're in pain. It's okay. Yeah. Not your fault. Yeah. Well, you have been such a bright light. Okay. You have. Thank you. And I'm sure everyone has been helpful, or, you know, reading some of the things that you've wrote, written for an, an interview with Medel to help people use that, you know, the device that's really helped, helped you before you had pain. It helps other people too. So yeah. yeah, I'm so sorry. So that's it. It was one of the worst days of my life. I'll get into more of my thoughts about it in another video because this video was already long enough. I officially tried everything. Like I said, it was one of the most heartbreaking days of my life. There aren't words to describe the disappointment and hurt that I feel for this situation that I'm in and grieving the loss of something that was so life-giving and gave me so much freedom and independence and joy. And to have that taken away is just, there's no words in my reality. So please keep me in your prayers as I grieve the loss of this and go back to my previous reality of being in my quiet little world and not hearing as well as I did six months ago with this device. So I had an amazing six months with this hearing device. Um, the best six months ever. It just wasn't meant to be. And I'll never know why is it. And this is all that's um, available right now. So I just wanted to share this part of the journey because it's part of it, even though it's really hard. Thank you guys for being with me on this incredibly difficult journey. Just keep me in your prayers. Hopefully the next video will be a happier one. I'll see you guys next time.